And welcome back, folks, to this blind let's play of Broken Sword. And uh, I apologize for a little hiccup in my travel schedule that prevented my usual update. Um, but uh, I'm back, and uh, things are probably going to still be crazy for me for a while, but uh, I'll try my best to keep the videos coming at a fairly steady pace as much as I can. But, let's see, where we left off was the crystal had fallen down that grate, and we need to get it open, but we can't use the switch. And I think we tried stuff from the inventory and that didn't work either. So, when in doubt, let's ask the people about the uh, car, car kidnapping, car napping? I don't know, however you want to call it, that we just witnessed. Hey, McGuire! What? <laughs> okay, well, if he says he's supposed to dress, he's supposed to be dressed up like a pixie, that looks more like a leprechaun to me. Did this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I'm not. Did Fitzgerald drop anything when he was hit? I didn't see. It all happened so fast. Maybe the package fell somewhere out of sight. <laughs> A little hint hint to us that it uh, dropped into the grate. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Hmm. Maybe someone in the pub has something to say? Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? May I have another beer, please? Certainly, sir. Same again? Yeah, please. How is this stuff made? That's the secret of the master brewer, sir. Each barrel is lovingly manhandled in time-honored fashion, suspended on skillfully tied ropes of the finest hemp, lowered into the cellar, utilizing the forces of original gravity, like manner from heaven. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. I could fix it for you. I don't think so. This is a job for a professional electrician. Oh, well, at least the glass washer is still working. It's not my dear, is it? <laughs> Look, I gotta be going. I wonder if it had something to do with the broken switch box outside. Oh, and we can actually look at it now. Okay. Hmm. I thought something might be here, but I guess it's just part of the scenery. Let's have a look at the washer. It was an electric glass washer. It looked even older than the barman. I couldn't see anything obviously wrong with the machine. I figured it must be the wiring. Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, anything else? See if someone else comments on the uh, events outside. Hello again. What? What? I'm looking for Sean Fitzgerald. Have you seen him? Never heard of him. Don't you come from around here? None of your business. I didn't ask where you come from, did I? I'm from California. That's your problem. <laughs> Well, actually, we know that he just left against his own free will, but anyway. If I was a woman, I wouldn't think much of a wire necklace. It's not made for a woman. I've got my sights on tastier dishes than women. Flesh as smooth and tender as a maiden's. Bones as soft and white as a newborn babe's. Rabbit, lad. That's what gets my juices flowing. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll just leave you to that. I'll see you later. Hey! Hello there again, mister! Aren't you gonna help Fitzgerald? What does he need my help for? Didn't you hear what McGuire said? He's been hit by a car! What an idiot! People call me stupid, but I've never done that. Don't you feel any sympathy for poor Fitzgerald? 
He never bothered about me, so why should I? Oh, full of compassion in the bar. Bye for now. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? No. I have a suspicion that Fitzgerald might have been given something by Pegram. I thought he acted strangely. I'm talking about the gem. It was something he said. Were you not speaking to him when he ran out of the bar? Yeah, sure. Just talking, that's all. Goodbye for now. Hmm. Okay, we've asked him about him being hit to the car. Can we ask hey. him anything else? Hello there again, mister. No. Okay. Bye for now. Hmm. Can we use any of this on the dishwasher? Ooh, it was a metal rod. Yes, we know. Let's try this. Ah, I didn't think as much. Okay. Um, adventure spam. Use everything on everything. Uh, yeah. I doubt any of this will work. It was What's a rectangle again? of toweling printed with the words Nagopalian Stout Builds Body. Oh, the towel thing, yeah. Can we give that to this guy? I can't remember if I tried that or not. It's been too long. <laughs> Hello again. What? What? Could you use this towel? I could, but it wouldn't be much use for anything else. Yeah. Okay, are we just going to repeat what we said before? Ah, so you're making snares to trap rabbits. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? Damn right I do. Isn't it painful? Only if I get me fingers caught. Uh. I'm talking about the rabbits. Do they feel much pain? You bet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, this guy is really starting to creep me out. Did you ever see Fitzgerald at Pegram's dig? I never heard of either of them. I'll see you later. He's just has waving that snare in our face, but we can't seem to pick it up. Okay, let's head back out. May have to go back up to the archaeological site, see if we can poke around. Hey, McGuire. What? See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Hi, it's me again. So I see. What now? Did you happen to see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. Um, not quite. The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car was <laughs> traveling too fast. <laughs> but you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Um, possibly. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well... That's a relief, no. Um, I guess partially. Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. Wow. A low-budget police force. I think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right. But what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. What a moral dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. 
or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard? It would need some thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. <laughs> Easily led village people. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. I have a feeling once he gets to the bar, he ain't gonna leave for a while. He strode off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. On the back of the cart was a crazily stacked tower of hay bales, leaning precariously against the castle wall. Can we climb it? Yes. The stack of hay stopped short of the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. Hmm. If any uh, French soldiers come up on the wall and start insulting us, then uh, I think we might be in trouble. But anyway. Ah, uh, so we got the wall and we got a... Oh. Can we just go? Hold on. There was a narrow crack between two of the stones where the centuries-old mortar had crumbled away. Yes. I pushed my fingers into the narrow crack. It went back several inches into the rock. Okay, so we need to put something into the crack, I guess? How about our trusty it was sewer a metal tool? <laughs> I inserted the end of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. Hey, we don't even know. What do you know? We found another use for this tool. Okay, we can go back up to the wall or down. That goat looks kind of creepy. It was a rusted piece of iron. Maybe part of a plow or something. Let's turn it into a weapon. I'm an adventurer, this is how I think. Dope! The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. Huh. Okay. I... Wonder how that helps us. Maybe we'll find out. At least he's not staring at us and chewing his cud now. Uh, I don't see anything else, so let's head down. This shot's for the ladies. Sorry. I <laughs> couldn't resist. Alright, um... What's over here? The sack contained a fine white powder. Don't snort it up your nose. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. All right, so we have some casting material. It was a handful of plaster left in the castle by Pegram's archaeology team. The sack and Okay, so I guess it's just the powder. I thought there might be that other sculpting tool there that we could get. But anyway, Something to investigate here. Ah! A Templar kneeling in supplication. It was a statue which had fallen from its place on the wall. Five fingers of stone projected from the back of the carving. Huh. It had fallen, but it had fallen in an upright position. That's lucky. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Overbalanced. In other words, you dropped it. 
The statue lay face up in the soft sand. Oh, maybe it imprinted the sand up with those uh, things on the back. Let's pick it back up. Ha-ha! As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. The five fingers on the back of the statue had left their impressions in the fine sand. I placed my fingers in the five impressions left by the fallen stone. It was weird. They fit perfectly. Okay. Hopefully that's a clue. In fact, I see a similar symbol right there. There was a pattern of five holes arranged on the wall. They'd been drilled there deliberately. Well, as much as my mama said don't go sticking your fingers into strange holes, I think we'll have to try it. I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. Boo! Alright, let's check out the door. Behind the altar was a carved panel decorated with animals, birds, and plants. I hear rats. I tried in vain to move the panel. Hmm. If we could pick up the statue, maybe we just put it back in place? Of course, I don't think we have anything necessarily to lift. Oh, the plaster! Ha 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 ha. I'm smart. Let's do this. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. I smoothed the plaster level with the sand. It was my first experience of home improvement. Pick it up. I smoothed... Nope. Let's see. Um... Oh, maybe now we have to tilt the thing over. Okay, let's try that. Oop, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, can we not move the statue anymore? Hmm. Maybe now we can use the tool? The sack contained... Yeah, the fine white powder. I reached into the sack, but it was empty. Okay, so we have all the plaster we're going to get. I need to do something with this pile of plaster now. Um... Hmm... It was a wreck... Yeah. Oh, I'll be. What you gonna do with that? Oh, I squeezed I the towel as hard as I could, but it was barely damp. Oh, so we actually need to get it wet, I think. I smoothed the... Yeah, okay. So we need water. Where could we find that? <laughs> Oh, maybe we can just get it from the bar. <laughs> Would you please pour beer over this towel? Although I can't think of anywhere else to get any kind of liquid. Uh, Mr. Barman! Can we just use the towel on him? Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? May I borrow this towel? You can keep it. Hey, how about another drink? See him again? Hmm. 
Do you serve cocktails? I serve anyone with manners and money. No, I'm serious. Have you considered turning McDevitt's into a cocktail bar? Cocktails are chic, cool, and popular with younger drinkers. Oh, what? Geez. Kids in the bar? Can you imagine this? Pinball, pimples, and puke. Uh, right, I get the picture. I'll settle for a glass of stout. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. Arg. Look, I gotta be going. Um. We use this on the machine? Oh, I think we tried that already. So the pump is broken. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Excuse me? No customers behind the bar. Ever. I could try to fix your glass washer. Oh no. Not unless you're a qualified electrician. Oh, we're not allowed to lie and just say we are? Hello again. What? Hmm. No options to get his glass of beer. I'll see you later. How about these two? Oh, wait a minute. Was the fiddler active there? I'll have to check that out. Hey! Hello there again, mister! Look at this towel. You showed me that before. Alright, sorry. Bye for now. He wasn't listening. Oh, okay. Can't talk to him. Ah, we can order a beer, but we can't use it. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? Hmm. What do you make of this white powder? Could it be bicarbonate of soda? Yes, it is. Goodbye for now. Or actually, I'm not sure. Hey. Hello there. Sound like a good guess, though. Do you recognize this white powder? No, I don't. Wow, that was aggressive. Bye for now. Excuse me. A yes, sir? Does this... I'm not interested. <laughs> Doesn't even make it. Give me another beer, dude. Give everyone another beer. Let's party, guys. I think you've had enough, don't you? Hey, listen. Is it supposed to taste the way it does? Go Pauline Stilt is brewed from the finest chemicals in the world. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. Look, I gotta be going. Oh, I need some kind of liquid. Hello again. What? What do you make of this white powder? Ah! No! No! Hair fever! <laughs> Okay. I'll see you later. So along with what do you make of this tool, we now have what do you make of this white powder? Hmm. I wonder if we can use that plaster on anything else since we still have some of it. Nope. Hey, McGuire. What? Do you know what this white powder is? Nope. Simple enough. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Ah. Uh, any liquid over here? Well, technically, it looks like there's some here. But, uh, nope. It's not active. Darn it! Pushing with all my strength got me nowhere. They didn't budge. I really need to start working out. <laughs> well, let's head back to the new area we unlocked.
Not much active around here. I squeezed the towel as hard as I. Yes, it was barely damp. Um. Figures. Uh, let's see, that's the matchbook. 